yes guys welcome back to the channel so today's video is all about reflections if you guys check out my instagram page you'll see a lot of my pictures have reflections in and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you through like how i shoot reflection shots i'm going to show you a few hacks and a few cheats and a few tips on how to take reflection shots also i'm only using my mobile phone i'm not using my camera for any of the shots it's all going to be with my mobile phone what i generally do is i turn my phone upside down so the lens is at the bottom and I take reflections that way, but I'm going to show you all of that in the video now. Before we get to the video, please like this video, please subscribe, and please share. All right, let's go. So, yes, guys, water is the first thing we're going to do. Literally, I've got a bottle of water, splash it on the floor, and it creates a really, really cool reflection. This is like DIY reflection here. Um, I'll show you guys. So, what I do is, like I said before, my phone's upside down, and I get down really low. And I try and get that reflection there. There's I'm just adding a little bit more water because I want to create more of a puddle effect in the picture. So again, down low, phone upside down. And we're going to take some snaps. I'll show you the snaps on the screen. Lovely. DIY reflection right there get really close to the puddle we created yeah love that so guys again bottle water gonna now play place it on this surface here i know you got you guys can't see it but big ben is literally opposite where my camera's shooting so i'll show you guys in the picture but even if you look further in the distance you can see the voxel buildings reflecting but yeah this is big ben reflecting off the surface just from using the water um, I'll do another one and I'll show you guys here again Big Ben reflecting loving that look All right, up next is a mirror as you can see the mirror is a little bit dirty but we're gonna use it anyway um, I've just literally placed it on this surface here um, and it's already reflecting the buildings just by Canary Wolf station um, I'll show you guys what how the picture comes out and I'll show you look, what it looks like on the camera as well but again the mirror is a great thing to use to get reflections turn the camera upside down and there's a shot there loving that absolutely loving that all right up next we have gone inside Canary Wolf station and I'm going to get some reflection shots from down here so I literally going up the escalators so I'll take a shot here and I'll show you what I also done is I actually went to the side of the escalators and I took a few shots from the side and I'll show you guys in a second here. So the first picture was straight on. The second picture I'll show you guys will be from the side. Um, I think I love that even more. It's just a different angle, a different vibe to it and everything. And then this one is of the main exit or the main entrance of the station using the mirror then to reflect again. So yeah, mirror is a great way. Puddles. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I love puddle shots. Um, and this is a prime example. We have, um, I'm in the Vox area. We have these buildings right here. This puddle looks amazing. What I generally do is I go down lower, like I said before, as you can see here, and I grab the shots from quite low. So puddles is probably my favorite or the most used reflection shot that I do. Here again, we're by Big Ben and there's a puddle right there. And we're going to do the same thing, get the camera down low, or get your phone down low, turn it upside down and you can get some great puddle shots. I'll show you guys how I do it right now. This is actually a great spot for shooting. If it ever rains and you're in London, head down to Westminster Bridge and you can get a great puddle reflection shot as you can see on screen now. I'll grab another one and I'll show you. I think I like this one with the bus to the side as well a bit more. All right, Pond and Rivers. This is literally by Big Ben. The sun was setting. I found this area by chance, but the reflections you're getting or I'm getting there is absolutely amazing. I'll show you the shots. I think I took three or four shots here and I'll show you guys the shots now, but puddles, ponds, uh, rivers as well are great for reflections. As you can see, Big Ben reflecting. Love these shots. window window is 
a great way a great way to get reflections as well um as you can see st paul's in the distance and it's literally reflecting off this building here i think it's salvation army building but you can see the reflections already obviously there's reflections on the ground from the rain which look absolutely amazing but using windows to get reflections is a great hack that i always use and as you can see here you get some great results from the window all right guys please like this video if you like it please share it to friends family anyone that's into photography please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next video peace